there is this boy who who knows only english okay he doesn't know chinese but then there is this girl who slides in a note saying okay let's say this says do you know chinese okay do you do you know forgive my handwriting chinese okay chinese okay imagine it says that okay this note says do you know chinese okay now um now particularly if it says do you know chinese and if the boy only knows english the boy but still he wants to say he knows chinese right so he has this he tries to read it but obviously impossible right he can't read through this whole thing right so what he does he goes through his book full of instructions okay think about it this a equal to this chinese word b equal to another chinese word c equal to another chinese word now reading that book full of instructions what he does is that he tries to write a reply saying i know chinese now he slides it back to the girl now what does the girl think yes that he genuinely knows chinese but does he know chinese no so in this situation i think you understood ai acts like it knows that information it acts like it's able to do all the task but in reality it's just following a step of instructions like we did that ai agent voice stuff right it's just following a set of instructions it's not actually thinking right so now finally artificial super intelligence asi now if this guy no was like the kid okay and agi was like we are not even reached here the asi is going to be the one that everyone is going to say that is going to kill us i think that is the question that not one person asked me that is specifically the ai that's going to kill us <laughs> i'll tell you what that means okay so ai that surpasses human intelligence in all aspects including creativity problem solving and emotional understanding if we check the last slide again you can see that this is under human right under human this is more like same par as a human equal right so this is equal to as a human right if this is like equal to and this is more powerful than a human that's how this is go so we are like ai where it's not as smart as us now then it's going to be equal then it's going to be more so this is going to be the one that kills us okay not particularly but maybe so it will surpass us in all ways now there is this prediction of ai how it's going to be adopted in business okay i don't like charts we are going to skip that anyway I, i'm not saying use ai everywhere like ai spoon and all but try to use ai wherever possible like is this presentation good to be honest i like it okay It's not the best presentation in the world, but it's pretty good. I feel right. So I try to use AI on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram to create content. More on that later. Even for my studies, I use AI. As you can see in this, the literally the whole animations, the scripting of my YouTube videos, everything is done with the help of AI. And I'm able to do my studies, my tenth board, and a lot of stuff together. because of using ai i'm not going to show the whole thing and bore you even fun fact even in my shorts a lot of content i do myself content too but a lot of these videos are made with the help of ai even this video as you can see is not me it's ai right i cloned myself so because i had to manage my studies and classes too right like classes like this don't worry this is not ai this is me but see i try to use ai everywhere like there is this ai that you can use known as flash ka Okay, try. I'll uh, if someone can put it in the chat, that would be good. Flash card. That will create flash cards, explain stuff, give examples, generate AI quizzes. It's quick, right? And I use it. It even creates games. Uh, you should try a lot of AI tools like this. That actually help you study. And personally, this has helped me a lot. Like imagine, it explains concepts like I am seven. It creates pictures to visualize complex stuff. So it's actually really useful. So you guys should check it out. And even as a person who has spoken TEDx and takes a lot of sessions, I use AI to create presentations like this one, right? Not a lot, but a bit. Now. even as i am a founder i have my own company yeah, as so a founder has to do a lot of stuff like marketing development customer service financial manager team building business development now for all that also from business logo to landing page like this is our landing page for my website a lot of these stuff marketing uh, i use this ai marketing blocks 
I for a lot of these stuff I use AI too, right? Okay, I'm not. I'm just going a little fast because I really want to get to the debate. I because I feel you guys are really interested in that ASI will AI take over job. One is deep fake. Yes, see a lot of politicians, a lot of people, big people have yeah. been deep fake. Like Mr. Beast, you might have seen the ads. They have been yeah, copying yeah. Mr. Beast and saying we are going to give money and all that. So scammers. They all yeah. count as this. So it's true, but. Let's look at the bright side of this. So this is one of the ad campaigns that ran by Cadbury. Everybody knows Dairy Milk, right? Yes, yes, yes. So Dairy Milk is a chocolate company. So they did a small ad. Here is their ad. I hope I'm not promoting them, but this is an ad that they did on Diwali. It's like a celebration that we do. And see what Cadbury did. Big businesses and brands that Can you guys suffered hear the during sound? the pandemic found their way ever. back, but the smaller stores yeah. still suffer. This lockdown has been a real. Tough phase of my life. I mean, I have seen bad days, but this was the worst. Last year, we helped small businesses through Diwali. So this year, we decided to bring it back, presenting not just a Cadbury ad. This Diwali, we helped hundreds of small businesses by making India's biggest brand ambassador be their brand ambassador. इस दिवाली आप भी ना अपने पास वाले फैशन ऑफ एम्पोरियम से ही कपड़ों की शॉपिंग करना और फिर एम्पायर फुटवेयर नाम तो सुना होगा अपना स्टाइलिश चश्मा बगल वाले हेवन आई ऑपरेशन से ही लेना सिद्धि विनायक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स से लेटेस्ट स्मार्टफोन खरीद कर धमाकेदार सेल्फी पोस्ट करना क्या कर रहे हो मीठा लाए कि नहीं लाया हो ना यार अपने पास वाले रोशन किराना से आप भी अपना मीठा वहीं से लें। We used machine learning to recreate Shah Rukh Khan's face and voice to take the local store names in the ads. इस दिवाली आप भी ना अपने पास वाली choice of fashion से ही कपड़ों की shopping करना। पास वाली आजकल fashion से ही, royal fashion से ही, NK clothes से ही, पास वाली Lakshmi collection से ही कपड़ों की shopping करना। इस दिवाली आप भी ना। Different versions of the same ad with local store names were targeted as per the PIN code of the viewer, showing them only the nearby stores. But it is impossible to cover all the stores, so we gave the power to the people to create their own version of not just a Cadbury ad. Any small business owner could promote their stores through their own social media networks like WhatsApp forwards and other social media pages. हमारे आसपास की जो दुकानें हैं, उनकी दिवाली भी तो मीठी होनी चाहिए। Cadbury celebrations, not just a Cadbury ad. Uh, so this is an ad that Cadbury did. They took full permission from Shah Rukh Khan. They defaked him, and for each small, small stores after COVID nineteen, they made ads so they could come back, so they could fight with big companies like Amazon. They're like, what, bro? Shah Rukh Khan made an ad for your website, crazy, like your shop. Isn't that cool? So with his permission, so it's not illegal. See, everything has its good and bad. Just like that, even AI has its good and bad. So this is one of the ways we can use these deep fakes for good, not bad, right? And this is an example that you should all keep in count, right?